I'm not expecting anything special in 2012 around December 21st. Uh, I'm not going to lay in any extra supplies, uh, no survival gear. I'm just going to lay in an extra supply of uh, eggnog for the coming uh, holiday season. There's no planet Nibiru, there's no planet X, and nothing is hurtling toward us. Uh, but there have been claims on the internet that there is a planet called Nibiru, four times the size of the Earth, that's going to come close to the Earth or smack it in December of 2012. But there's no te telescopic evidence. There's no evidence that it's perturbed any of the inner planets or the outer planets, uh, which it would have to do if it were in an orbit around the sun. And so there's no evidence whatsoever. And as Carl Sagan pointed out many times, uh, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and there's no evidence whatsoever for Nibiru. The Mayan calendar does not end in 2012. Uh, they have terms that they use for long periods of time, much like we have terms for long periods of time, like a decade, a millennia. The Mayans had something called the long count, which was 5,125 years long. And that's what's coming to an end on December 21st, 2012. But a new long count begins on December 22nd, 2012. Much like our own calendar ends on December 31st, and a new calendar for the next year begins on January 1. Regarding the solar maximum cycle, uh, the sun has a period of solar activity that lasts about 11 years, so it is scheduled to reach a maximum around 2012. But it's been doing this. Uh, for millennia. It reaches the solar maximum every 11 years or so for millennia, and there's no reason to suspect that this 2012 time period will be any different from the others. Now, as far as the Earth's magnetic field goes, uh, there is, in historic time, uh, pole reversals, north to south, south to north, but that sort of pole reversal of the Earth's magnetic field occurs on 400,000 year time scales, and it takes thousands of years for that change in polarity to take place. And there's no evidence whatsoever that it's going to start uh, changing polarity in 2012. And even if it did, uh, it, that wouldn't affect the rotation of the Earth, nor would it affect the, the rotation axis of the Earth. There are no planetary alignments in 2012. There won't be any planetary alignments for a couple of decades on either side of 2012. And even if there were, it wouldn't be an effect, uh, because the only objects in space that materially affect the Earth's motion are the sun and the moon. Folks have to be very careful when they get information on the web, uh, and that's, that goes especially for objects that are in near-Earth space and uh, are coming close to the Earth. Uh, we have a, a website called Asteroid Watch, which is backed with evidence and scientific uh, method. Uh, if we put something out there, it's the truth. Uh, if you go to other websites and they're putting things out without evidence, without science, uh, don't believe it. Uh, you have to be very careful where you go for your information.